A car hits two deputies while they're on the job. One is thrown into the air. Tonight, both longtime veterans are recovering. We're lucky today. We're very lucky. And uh, somebody was looking after us. Take a look at those deputies, Kevin Statzer and Larry Henderson. Both were investigating another crash when they were hit. This happened in Whitewater Township. A driver lost control getting onto I-275. But we are happy to call this a near tragedy. Nine on your side first alerted you to this accident on your smartphone. And our team coverage continues at five with the latest on those deputies' conditions. Jason Law is at UC Medical Center. But first, let's go to TJ Parker. He is live near the scene of the crash. TJ. Now, deputies are still trying to figure out what caused that car to spin out and hit two sheriff deputies on I-275 southbound, not too far from where we are now. The good news tonight, those deputies are doing okay. We thought we were dealing with something very different. Hamilton County Sheriff Public Information Officer Mike Robeson says it was a scary situation this morning when two deputies, Kevin Statzer and Larry Henderson, were hit while responding to an accident on the I-275 southbound ramp. They're seasoned veterans who are good people who do a good job like 99% of us. Uh, but, and, but the fact of the matter is, uh, you know, every one of us can uh, be under these circumstances. So uh, it, it, in a split second. Deputies say this black car spun out of control, hitting both Statzer and Henderson. Statzer was thrown in the air and knocked unconscious. He was rushed to UC where he is doing better. Henderson was also hit but was able to stand up at the scene. He was taken to UC to be checked out. Now that deputies know Henderson and Statzer will recover, they say this is a reminder to be mindful of law enforcement on the road. And we want to let people know, again, you see an emergency vehicle on the side of the road, especially it's when it's raining, please, please, um, you know, take precaution, slow down, and, and, and be, uh, be careful because this happens routinely and, and way too often. Now, deputies say this is an ongoing investigation. As of right now, there are no charges filed. We're live tonight along I-275 South. I'm T.J. Parker, 9 on your side. T.J., thank you. And now with the very latest on how those deputies are doing tonight, we go to 9 on your side's Jason Law. He's outside of UC Medical Center. Jason. Yeah, Carol, it's incredible when you look at that video to know that both deputies suffered non-life-threatening injuries. One, only one, had to be taken to the hospital earlier today. According to investigators, Deputy Kevin Statzer received the worst of it, as you just heard in TJ's report. He's undergoing surgery tonight for a broken leg and other injuries to his lower half. He should be on the left of your screen now. Initially, we were told by the sheriff's office that Statzer was shot up into the air after the collision and landed on his head and lost consciousness at the scene. Right now, though, his status is listed it as fair. He's expected to recover. That's the good news. More good news is Deputy Larry Henderson on the right was hurt when he was struck by debris from the collision, but he didn't have to be transported to the hospital. So again, non-life threatening injuries for both of these deputies. And we were told both deputies, longtime veterans with Hamilton County Sheriff's Office, uh, stats are 27 years on the force and Henderson almost 25. So wishing good luck to those two in the recovery tonight. We're live outside UC Medical Center. Jason Law, not on your side. Absolutely, we do, 